show you a little bit of my last presentation. So students, pay attention, please. Can you tell me, uh, no, what do you see in this image, in this picture? All is in one drop. But something else, what? A lot of waves, right. Something else? Here? You have to take a, a decision. Okay, please. The title of my presentation is begin, is begin with the end in mind. So it's all about to think a little bit more in your future. Okay, please. It means to start uh, with a clear understanding of your destination. Where you want to become, where you want to be. That's the question, okay? Uh, you need to know where you're going, please. So then you gotta understand where are you now as a person. I'm not talking about place, okay? As a person, who are you now? And where you want to be? So every take, every step you take, every little step you make, is going to take you to this destination. Okay. By saying, uh, begin with the end in mind, I'm not talking about uh, deciding every detail of your future. I'm talking about thinking uh, a little bit more of uh, the person you want to become. Okay? Um, it's thinking beyond today and deciding what direction you want to take. So, you just take, you take, or you decide to take, it's always in the right direction, okay? And you may not realize it, okay? But you do it all the time. For example, if you want to build a house, you have to draw up a blueprint, right? If you want to do, if you want, if you want to bake a cake, you have to follow a recipe, right? You have a certain image, in your in your head and it's part of our life okay so let's continue now students please close your eyes close your eyes students please close your eyes all of you close your eyes close your eyes all of you okay and breathe deeply and think, what have you done with your life over the past year? How do you feel inside? Now, think about yourself, but five years from now. Think about yourself, about yourself but five years from now. And what, what do you look like? Who is this person? Who person you become? Please open your eyes. These tiny questions is going to make you to think about your future and take your direction. Okay? We are uh, free to choose our path. That's true, right? But we cannot choose the consequences that come with them. You can choose, I don't know, make your decision, right? To learn English, for example. But you don't choose the consequences that come with this decision. Maybe you didn't go to the right uh, institute or um, you have this bad luck if you didn't have excellent teachers. Yes? That's not up to you. But you did the decision. And it's important to be conscious that you're the owner of your destiny. No one else, not your mom, not your dad, not your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever. You're the owner of your destiny. And if you don't take your destiny, someone, someone else will do. 
As a high school teacher, I hear all the time things like, I'm gonna chill and worry about the future when it comes. I like to live in the moment and go with the flow. Okay, that's good, okay? And then, okay. Uh, I agree with the uh, living in the moment. That, that's the important thing of life, okay? To so live in the present, live the moment, but I'm not agree with the go with the flow part, okay? Why? Because if you go with the flow, you're going to end where the, the, where the flow ends. And maybe you don't like that end. So choose wisely what direction you want to take and if you want to go with the flow of your life. And for this reason, it's important to have a mission, a personal mission statement. What is a personal mission statement? It's your own philosophy of life. That's it. It focuses, it focuses on three things. The first one, what you want to be. What person you want to become. Okay, that's the first thing. The second one, what you want to do. Your contributions and your achievements. What you want to do. And the third one, it takes your value and principles as a person. Okay, so those Three things are important for your philosophy of life. You, uh, because each individual is unique, so a personal mission statement will reflect that uniqueness. And think about the, mission, uh, the personal mission statement as a huge tree, okay? With uh, these big and deep roots. It's a stable, yes, and it's not going anywhere, yeah, but it's also alive and it continues growing. Like you, like you as a person, right? You can uh, think about your favorite quotes too. So the past three questions and your favorite quotes. Think about it. Uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Gandhi, I don't know, okay? Think about your favorite quotes. For example, mine, it's from Sagar Mali, and it says, every morning when I wake up, I experience an exquisite joy, the joy of being Sagar Mali. And I ask myself in Rachel, what wonderful things this Sagar Mali is going to accomplish today? It's, I love it. I really love this, this quote. Why? Because everything is inside of you. The love is inside of you. The success is inside of you. So my wish, my wish, my personal mission statement is to magic. Just two words. Do magic. Why? Because if you love yourself, if you trust in yourself, if you're confident, you're going to accomplish everything you think of yourself. Okay? And every decision, every move that you make is going to be magic. And that's about life, to do magic. And thank you very much. Continuamos con...